Hey-o. it's Terrence Prescott Borns. This time I'm going to be telling you about all of my favorite characters and how they inspired me to make up a story. Story number 27, The Worst List, is home to universe big against in vain. On occasion, this universe will sprout a new galaxy, here and there to all the way over somewhere else. Nowadays, year 9203, humanity has spread to about 40 galaxies with a plethora of space colonies in between all of them. The Milky Way is where we begin. We branched out to other galaxies in year 3333. All of the galaxies were named after the third planet, if it's habitable. Throughout their clever business, humanity discovered a way to alter celestial beings, created in year 7072. They came back to the Milky Way to purposely make five galaxies in what was measured as a near-perfect hexagon. In year 7145 was when the near-perfect hexagon was created. Earth, Titania, Granley, Jeff, Baumfell, and Salas World were the new center of humanity. Much later on, it was humanity's first time of witnessing a Big Bang. It was in year 7777. This Big Bang happened in the direct center of the near-perfect hexagon. Where it was, was the perfect spot. Directly the same distance away from each of the six galaxies. Everyone had the idea of making this galaxy an incredibly special one. But it just looked like a giant galaxy confined to the space of at least 101 Jupiters. Names were given to it, but Alcrest was the one that stayed. And a whole lot of people came up with the crazy idea around aging the galaxy to beat. Since they can alter whole celestial beings, they might as well see if they can create a way to fast forward a galaxy a billion years. Unrealistic, but they did it, and now it's time to colonize planet Alcris. Story number 27, The Worst List. Initially, this story idea came in the form of a dream, like all of them have. I'm not going to ever stay away from telling the truth. The dream went along the lines of, all of my favorite characters being brought together for a new planet colonization mission. Through genetic manipulation and figuring out a way to clone even poltergeist correctly. Experiments ran a long time in this dream. Prior to me paying attention to the visuals my subconscious showed me. I was one of the doctors that helped with managing the cloning process to the waking up process in facilities. Had their fortress on motherfucking lizard. Yeah, ho. But the new planet colonization mission needed several different entities to ensure that humans can colonize the planet successfully. The entire dream took place in a honeycomb facility and the processes of starting experiments to the end took about 17 years. I think I had a lot of gray hair in the dream, but I can't remember because it's been years, meaning that 2017 was when a dream took place. Currently, the status and direction of the story is still the same. I had some of the most fun in my life making up 150 new characters. 125 of them reflect 125 of my favorite characters. I was going all the way hard versus going all the way soft at the same time. You all find out while you're listening, so get ready for a quick ride through the worst list. A list that is comprised of anyone that will perfectly fit in a gigantic, overpowered new planet colonization mission. Just in case the probability of randomness turns a higher number than projected. It was a good idea to do that. The head of Sway Space Administration saw the potential of a galaxy being born, going in several wrong directions. Her intelligence proved making the four teams of 25 super beings will be able to deal with anything not predicting. The Big Bang that created this galaxy was magnificent. How it unveiled into a nine-planet solar system has been remarkable. Scientists enjoyed every second of that millennia, just watched as it expanded until it finally stopped. Then Zakia de Beto was given the reins to create the teams for the colonization mission. Unlike many other scientists at that time, when the final press conferences for all organizations to make a vote on who is the top point person came and went, she won by a landslide. Everyone had splendid ideas that would have you entertained simply by listening to them talk about their plans of colonization. Multiple people had over 20 strategies. Zakia simply had one. To keep people from flooding her with comments about expendables, the worst list was brought out, a list that has never been seen by anyone outside of SSA, a shadow list to the watch list that has been recorded for more than five millennia. They have hard and soft DNA RNA of each person that has deceased on that list, as well as all of their belongings. The most odd thing about this dealt with 
not everyone on that list being used and not everyone on her list being dead. Resurrection ceremonies and gene splicing experiments led them to making up even more super beings for the colonization mission. All she figured humanity would need is 100 super beings. Eight of the 100 will be agents of SSA. They will be the point people of each team, a male and a female to wrangle anyone on their team. Not everyone on her list aligns with good, but all of them agreed to the mission. Something Zakia didn't inform of everyone was the truth about getting all of them on board for the colonization mission. There are beyond famous serial killers, terrorists, and public enemies of the past on that list. Regardless of so many cringy faces in those press conferences, most scientists saw nothing but sacrificial choices for a better tomorrow. Yet, Zakia told every enemy that if they make the new planet colonization mission green, they can be free to live again. Girl, what is you thinking? And she meant it too. Because no one wants to lie to a killer, but no one wants to lie to a watchlist killer. Who doesn't want a second life? In a world where magic is so powerful, you can teleport from space colony to space colony to reach a planet's surface if you want. Yeah, spaceships rarely dock at space colonies anymore because of their magic and technology, and that doesn't only belong to SSA. Multiple entities have that kind of power. Multiple entities have all kinds of world-ending might. But all of them saw what Zakia was doing. It was in how they all realized that the 100 that would be on ground would be supported by 10 spaceships following their location on the planet around its ozone. Being their immediate support by VIA, teleporting to the ground with resources and technology to survey the planet. At the time of the press conferences, the teams were called Countdown, Drama, Epsilon, and Hardcore for reasons of keeping eyes on numbers, the art of everything strategies, confidence in one team, and when demolition is ultimately needed. Regardless of them all entering the ozone from different spots to land in different spots, the teams won't perform their names unless something changes where all 100 of them have to team together. That's just a very, very, very small fraction of a dossier for the mission. When they voted, several of them took in consideration the entire dossier. That's how SSA was awarded the United Nations Alliance contract for the colonization mission. Those four months before the mission was start. Zakia had a long time to decide on which eight agents will be the lead agents. She didn't make that decision alone. The entirety of SSA had to put in their agents for judgment, for history. After doing intense digging for two months, she found six agents that fit the bill of acting leaders over 23 people they can't actually be leaders of. Who are we kidding? The super beings they chose for the mission have all the freedom they want because they have all the power they need and can acquire more at any given second. Good luck on managing any of them, but they were chosen to act as point people to contact headquarters throughout the mission. Two of those will happen to be historian agents, ones that signed a contract to be resurrected for the survival of humanity. That news wasn't as important as the six alive agents chosen for the ground. Jade and Owen were chosen way ahead of time. All of humanity knew this four months before the mission. The anticipation to know the six people who would be unfortunately lucky to endure bravery of no measurement were six people who went through Swayze Academy, Oakville, or together. One of the toughest militaristic academies known to man. Those six cried like tights that dropped their ice cream when they got the news. Then collected their faculties to prepare to meet all of the resurrected and contracted super beings for the mission. Here are the lineups. Team Countdown. Led by Penny Rambo and Zero Corn. This team has three of SSA's personal experiments. Viva Roy, Watchamacallit, and Westerville. It also houses an entire squad of villains, the Fourth Line. They are known as the Destroyers. This team was created for the purpose of surveying. Every member of the team has 20-20 vision. They case as if they are Mother Nature or the architect with the secrets. What's worse, some of them are incredibly worthy as warriors. Their track records with wins leaves them all with losing ratios below 20. Good luck. As if luck could stop any of the serial killers in this group. Team Drama. Led by Zora DeMarco and Jason Ballard. This team has two of SSA's personal experiments, Lola Kane and Fightington. It also houses an entire squad of heroes, the fourth row. They are known as Precious Cargo. Yes, they are the sworn enemies of the Destroyers. This team was created for the purpose of saving, distractions, and reinforcements. Everyone in a group comes from the backgrounds of survival. They know the deep down desolation of being the last person standing. With as much magical might as possible, they will identify life in the area and protect it, like top-of-the-line magical snipers. 
good luck. Gods, each and every one of them, portrayed a super being as godlike. Team Epsilon, led by Jade Vaden and Owen Dollars. This team has three of the SSA's personal experiments, Rookville, Kia Choppers, and Wesley Rakes. With this team being led by legendary super beings, all of them will follow suit with what they want. No orders. They don't behave that way. They ask them to follow suit for the greater good, and all of them believe that, regardless of a lot of them being entirely too wild to be pitted with one another. Epsilon was the name given to them because Jade, Owen, Zylvia, Bentley, and Young Ho would take their four beneath them and run their strategy into outer space. Good luck, because no sky is a limit to them. Team Hardcore, led by Johanna Powers and Kyoko Zhu. This team has three of SSA's personal experiments, Vuvu Neju, Dynamon, and Aluna Dillon. This team has members that come from backgrounds that are unfortunate. They have a bond that's automatic. In conclusion, all 25 of them can activate on a battlefield at the same time without any set strategy and not harm one another. There's one person on each row that acts like a constant link whenever they know they are activating with allies. They have a pristine ability of collecting so someone on ultimacy vibes doesn't destroy them. Because they are so connected, they have no choice but to be hardcore. Team Save the Galaxy This group is made up of the remaining of SSA's personal experiments. All of them are test tube babies with a specific idea behind them. They had to chop up so much DNA RNA and infuse their experiments with high magic so they can survive and be what their scientists envisioned. The preface is... Yes, the experiments were horrid and inhumane. You won't see any of their bloodshed, but they were able to complete the honeycomb complex experiment for the purpose of the colonization mission. 36 in total. 11 of them made the four teams cause the people that said no to the country, essentially meaning they exist for the colonization mission, something that was told to them when he veiled drizzle for his eggs back in their youth. Yes, all of them were the same age and grew up together. It worked out perfectly for SSA because majority of who they wanted said yes to the country, leaving 25 to make up a specific wild card saving team. The remaining. Here's the kicker. The upset is in this group. The bottom row are all agents of Sway Space. Zakia is currently the head of the administration. The other four are the main communicators with the teams on the ground. They are in their spaceships, ready to act like reinforcements for the most part. You can consider them pencil pusher agents. Their magical might will speak for them. They felt honor in taking their roles for the colonization mission. The third and fourth roles consist of a group of people who made it a specific summer camp. During that summer, they made up a stupid story to go along with a stupid world, per a creative writing assignment of their summer camp. Instead of just leaving it as an assignment, they spent the entirety of their two months creating foolery. They were having the time of their lives and the top two roles are a result of that. As major mages and scientists sped up the age of the new galaxy so it can grow all the way out, they had no idea that a group of kids found a way to send their book to the planet rumor to be habitable. Look at you. Thank you. Yep. All that magic that went to speed aging a galaxy literally formed what the kids wrote in their book. That book won't surface until the magic that is. The four teams all touch the earth of the new planet. As soon as they do that, boom. The entire planet changes to reflect the whole civilization of humanity and turns the colonization mission into a magical mission. Bye bye boy. Essentially, the story is about how in the hell did magic grow like that. But when that group of ten super beings come snooping around and see why their planet turned into that summer story, more hell will break loose as the ten of them are considered the ten guys that created their humanity. Tales upon tales upon divisions and what the entire fucks will be this epilogue. The only way to find out what happens is to pay attention when the story is released. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> yeah, ho. I'll leave this with the 125 characters and which of my favorites they were based off of. Team Countdown. Penny Rambo. Agent Money Penny. Zero Quan. Agent Brandon Fletcher from Quantico. Killingsley, Mr. Game and Watch. Danny Diggins, Barry Dillon from Archer. Craze DeVoe, Blaze Fielding. Ixias Gonzalez, Detective Tess Vargas 
from Beauty and the Beast. A male, Ingrid, from Street Fighter. Zessai, Tessai, from the Seven Samurai. Sophie Zephyr, Miranda Collins. Marlo Megany, Margot Hansen, from The Magicians. Quickie, Gage, from Borderlands. Devcore, Metalhead, from TMNT. Viva Roll, to call from Sonic Adventure. Cole Carrington, George Stans from Being Human. Nijanta, Cassandra from Soul Calibur. Nightmares, Venom. Savagery, Agent Bill Harkin from Alphas. Dorigo, Cornell Scipio from Alphas. Stickers, John Diggle from Arrow. Deadmore, Juggernaut. Whatchamacallit, Gizmo Duck. Chancha Chi, Bao Sanin from Dynasty Warriors, Vikram Rayo, Stewie Griffin, Kyla Eagle, Keith Swan from Video Game High School, and Westerville, Donatello. Team Drama, Zora DeMarco, Agent Charlie from Graceland, Jason Ballard, Jake Ballard from Scandal, Rochelle Odin, Brenda Meeks, Black Sword, Blade, Lauren Dugatti, Diana Mead from The Secret Circle, Bentley Killjoy, Barrett Wallace, Oricon, Padan from Maminagi, Kari Damore, Kendra Young the Vampire Slayer, White Calls Akuma, Sir Servius, Served by Fightington the Kool-Aid Man, Masano X, Carson D. Carson from Dirty Bear Project Eden, Oracle, Rapunzel, Byron Boulders, Michael Myers, Vega Sunburst, Gene Starwin from Outlaw Star, Jamboree, Jubilee, Mythica, Magma, Twisted, Alicia Whitley from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Gamble, Ten from Batman Beyond, Ring Ring, Harley Quinn, Bellagia, Buttercup, Brad Kingdom, Dad Castle from Blue Mountain State, Damn! Alpha 152, Flames Dean, Games Dean from Video Game High School, and Lola Kane, Candy Kong. Team Epsilon, Jade Vaden, Jaden from Nikita, Owen Dollars, Owen Elliott from Nikita, Zivia Reigns, Aisha Campbell, Bentley Grimes, Troll Barton from Gundam Wing, Young Ho, Joe Beth Casey, from Time Splitters, Najale, Maya from Killer Instinct, Rauk Jin, Shao Kun, Hydrox Hertz, Fulian Kurtz from Fantasy Star Universe, Payne Paragon, Paul Phoenix, Nuclo, Lei Fang from Dead or Alive, Janika Havoc, Bunifa Latifa Halifa Sharifa Jackson, Jules, Wendy, the restaurant owner, and yes, I said restaurant owner, not mascot. Ziotru, Lei Gong, from Wu-Tang Shaolin Style. Ara Nakaya, Astrid Finch, from Tomorrow People. Jona Lisa, Shanene Jenkins. Rel Kala, Tichuba, from Salem. Ripville, Negaduck, Kia Choppers, Lamb Chops. Zamrazik Halo, Frost Warriors from the Mega Man X series. Ruby Moko, Sugimoto from Twelve Kingdoms, Raya Bones, Kyle Hart from Hit the Floor, Wesley Rex, Gex the Gecko, Terror, Terror from Teen Titans, Fangs, Beast Boy, Nevada Sparks, Georgina Sparks. Team Hardcore, Johanna Powers, Leanne Caldwell from The Bouncer, Kyoko Zoo. Agent Kimbo Cho from The Mentalist, Sagora Aitan, Samari Aitan from Knights of Sidonia, Dyson Dizzy, Noob Saibai, Duke Lorenzo, The Brave Little Toaster, Evoria Inobaria, Enemy, Blood from Plasma Sword, Honey Bricks, Bunny Bennett, Eximus, Awesome X from Frisky Dingo, El Reve, Pyra Nichols from Ruby, Collector, the Spirit, the Movie, Hevitus, Anubis, Ronin Warriors, Ailenshe, Sango, Inuyasha, 
So much. Slayer. Guilty Gear. Jake Deadtree. Jason Voorhees. Fire Loregi. Jam Corridor Berry from Guilty Gear. A Vanetta. Foxy Love from Drawn Together. Dynamon. Spyro the Dragon. Woo Woo Neju. Alice the Rabbit from Bloody Roar. Aluna Dillon. Laura Croft. Ovi Visa. Salisa from Kirby the Animated Series. Lux Bumbery. Lacey Porter from Twisted. Busy Bell. Kenzie Malakar from Lost Girl. Drea the Model. Mona Lisa Saperstein from Parks and Rake. Slash Yin. Ming Huang from Awkward. And last but not least, Team Save the Galaxy. Trickato Maximo from King of Fighters. Lix Vicanya Mei Natsumi from Blast Blue Continuum. Bexley Bazarius, Blake Belladonna from Ruby. Yoziki Nozashi, Yuzariha from Undernight. Raku Daru, Kunra from Killer Instinct. Dryak, Pyron from Darkstalkers. Rule, Roan from Nikita. Chazami, Hitami from Dead or Alive. Rahiro Zane, Huan Gai from Dynasty Warriors. Blade Bazaar, Razor Ramon the Wrestler. Rao Zalupa, Ram Lito Valentine from Get the Gear. Little Zozo, Sophia Rodriguez aka Little Soso from Young and Hunger. Evil Drizzle, Avon Crudo, a Mad TV character. Bloodlock, Crimson Hawk Moss from Knights of Sidonia. Jadora McCrave, Josie McCoy of Riverdale. Yakim, Floey from Undertale. Pickle Puckleport, Wardor Sockbot from Drawn Together. Lynette Harvard, I might change her name, but she's based off of Scarlett Van Helsing from Van Helsing. Graham Danger, Sam Oliver from Reaper. Meisten X, Metal Sonic. Gravius, Glacius from Killer Instinct. Ambrosia Adorno, Athena Asamaya from King of Fighters. Yakana Janjay, Yumeko Jabami. Kakegori, Olu Itrazana, Iris from Pokemon, Relics the Great, Felix the Cat. TPB out. Now keep it peaceful and make sure <laughs> you come back for more. Holla. <laughs>